Hi, this is Linda with Flamingos in Wonderland. When we go to Disney, the days are long and epic. So whenever we can, we like to start the day with a great breakfast. Today, I'm going to take you to Cape May Cafe and tell you everything you need to know to decide if this restaurant is one to spend your time and money at. All that and more coming right up. We're going to start by looking at the atmosphere and theming. Cape May Cafe is inspired by New England style restaurants. I love the beach theming with the large beach umbrellas, sand castles, and pastel colors. I have so many great memories of going to the beach with my family growing up and this restaurant had Aaron and I reminiscing and sharing stories. In the middle of the restaurant is where the buffet is so no matter where you are sitting, you're not too far away from getting the fresh and delicious food options. In the past, during breakfast, this used to be character dining. We are glad to announce that on October 4th, the characters will be returning for breakfast. Typically, it included Minnie, Daisy, Donald, and Goofy. We got to go many years ago and had a great time interacting with the characters. Before we get into location and menu, I just wanted to pop in here and thank everybody who has liked and subscribed to our channel and say we have tons of Disney videos about dining and room tours, including the Beach and Yacht Club, Beaches and Cream, and Sebastian's Bistro. So when this video is done, please be sure to check out our channel. Thank you. Now on to location. You can find Cape May Cafe on the boardwalk in the lobby of the Beach Club Resort. The theming integrates really well with the hotel. It is a great location as there are lots of hotels around like the Boardwalk and the Swan and Dolphin. It is also a terrific location if you're having a day at the park like Epcot or Hollywood Studios. You can book an early breakfast and enjoy your meal and then just take a short walk over to Epcot or a slightly farther walk to Hollywood Studios. And if you're too full, which we have known to be, you don't have to walk at all and you can just take the boats. At the back of Epcot is also where the Skyliner station is, so if you're coming from another hotel or taking a resort day and want to ride the Skyliner, head on over to the World Showcase entrance at Epcot and that's where you can hop on. In terms of getting to the Beach Club Resort, if you are at Epcot and Hollywood Studios, you can walk or take the boat as we said, and if you're coming from other parks, there is busing that can take you right on over. Now on to the menu. There is one menu for breakfast and another one for dinner. For the breakfast one, you can expect an American style buffet. When we went there, they were still doing the family style dining, but now the buffet is back open. Some of the items you can expect at breakfast are fresh pastries, eggs, omelets, bacon, sausage, and of course, Mickey waffles. For the dinner menu, it is all you care to enjoy surf and turf feast. There is a classic seafood boil with steamed clams, mussels, shrimp, corn, and red potatoes, oven roasted chicken, there's a carving station with roast beef, mac and cheese, assorted desserts, and more. There's a really nice variety at the breakfast and dinner so everyone can find something they can enjoy. There are a couple add-ons in the dinner if you're looking into it. For the steamed crab legs, you can get a pound for $29, or if you want to add on a whole main lobster, it will be $42. So when we went to Cape May Cafe, we had an absolutely delicious breakfast. Fruit juice and coffee and tea are included, so you're able to get your caffeine fix before going to the park. The assorted pastries were really fresh, and I am a sucker for fresh bread and pastries, so I definitely enjoyed those. The bacon and sausage were the same that we've had a lot of the other Disney buffets like Chef Mickey's and Trattorino Al Forno. The tater tots were a nice little treat as well. I'm not going to lie, my favorite was that they not only had Mickey waffles, but they also had mini waffles as well, so that was a lot of fun. The food was fresh and there was a nice variety that we both had a really delicious breakfast and felt like we were ready to take on the parks for the day. In terms of value and price, I would say it's very good. You get a lot of quality food at a decent price. For breakfast currently right now, it's $25 US and for kids at $14. Most likely the price will go up when the characters return, but that's a great price for a buffet. Sometimes coffee alone is $6. So you can get your fruit, your veg, eggs and coffee, all that for only $25. Dinner is slightly more expensive. It's 42 US dollars for adults and 25 per, for kids. But again, if you're going to be purchasing an appetizer, main and dessert at most restaurants, especially in Disney, that's going to cost you more than $42. 
In terms of discounts, they do accept tables in Wonderland, DVC, and annual pass holders. So we are all still waiting to see if the dining plan is going to come back, but when they did have it, it was one table service credit. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But overall, for an all you care to enjoy, the prices were pretty decent. We do have some other tips and overall impressions. You can reserve dining 60 days in advance, and we would recommend doing that on the app or the website. Reservations can book up quickly, especially if you are a large group. So make sure you set a phone alarm or reminder. We definitely have a couple of those so you don't miss out on making those reservations. In terms of dress code, it's casual dining, so you can come in whatever you're wearing to the park. There's no need to be bringing different clothes to change into. You're okay in in wearing whatever you have. We do like booking this for brunch as you get a really good amount of food and then we just sort of skip on having lunch, maybe have some fruit or something, but we have such a good breakfast we don't really need to then be paying for the second meal and again it was only $25 so pretty good. I would definitely be going again when the characters come back. We did get to do that quite a few years ago and enjoyed it. And I would like to try that surfing tour sometime. So maybe I'll have to find someone else. Aaron doesn't love seafood so much, so maybe he would just enjoy the carving station. But I really enjoy the theming. We often find ourselves at the boardwalk or in that area if we're at Epcot Hollywood Studios or trying out the different hotels. So this is definitely a restaurant I would be going back to again. Have you ever gone to Cape May Cafe? What do you think of the price and the quality of food? Do you have a favorite restaurant that you like going to in that boardwalk area? Let us know in the comments below. We really enjoy being a part of this community and hearing all your thoughts, ideas, and opinions. So thank you so much for watching. Memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again, and happy travels.